Hey everybody, this is Joe Numbers, and I thought I'd give you guys a really quick and easy straight up tutorial on how to do cropping on OBS Studio 21.0.1. This is the current newest version as of February 11th, 2018. Now, for those that uh, wonder how cropping works or sometimes how it doesn't work for you, I'm going to give you a quick and easy way to set this up. So here's what you do. I'm going to add in a random uh, capture screen. So I'm going to add in display capture just for the heck of it. Go ahead and hit OK. Uh, okay, and now you see how the screen is, you know, all messed up here. Basically, you can fix this in two different ways, but here's what you don't want to do. If you go to Transform and hit Fit to, fit to Screen or Control F, and then you try to crop, say you hold Alt. This is normally how cropping works. If you hold Alt and then try to crop, it doesn't work. You hold, you're supposed to hold Alt and move your mouse. It doesn't work. Why? because by design, it was designed to do that. So here's what you do. You want to reset that. Take your capture, whatever you're capturing, size it down by hand. And then once you've sized it by hand to whatever size you want it to do, go ahead and hold Alt, and then hold your mouse down on the side, and it will crop like it's supposed to. By design, they set up OBS Studio to be able to crop that way. There's two different ways you can crop on OBS Studio though. This is the one way. Make sure you do not fit the screen or else it won't work. But that's one way to crop. That's a simple, easy way. If you crop using this method by holding down Alt and clicking, it will not crop on other scenes. It will only crop this source on this scene. So say you have display capture set up on another scene. I'm gonna open up the other display capture over here. Same exact thing, uh, not much difference. Just let me go ahead and scale this down really fast, get it all set up. And I go over here, I go over to the first scene, the first scene, crop it out. Second scene, it's back. See, there, that's the difference. That's how that works. Now say I switch it back to normal, but I wanna do a more proper crop, the one that I know that'll affect every version of display capture on every scene. So here's what you do, right click that source and go to filters. And then from here, I'm just gonna size this up a little bit, go to the plus sign, and then you want to go to crop slash pad. From here, hit okay, you can name it though if you really wanna na name the filter. And then from here, you can go ahead and crop it by pixels, whatever you want it to be. So say I just crop it by 250 on the left, 250 on the right, and then that's it. Here's my source, and I'm gonna kind of align it here to the center, and you can see it's cropped off by 250 pixels on the left and on the right. Now, if I go back to my other scene, there it is again, it's also cropped on this scene, because the filter that I applied on this scene is applied to the same source on the other scene. So it's that simple and that easy to be able to, to, be able to crop. Uh, if you set up a filter on a single source, that that filter will carry over to other sources, but if you um, to other scenes. But if you want to just crop off a specific source on a specific scene, you can do it by holding Alt, and just holding your mouse down, and doing whatever you want. It's that simple. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I thought I hope I made it simple enough for you. If you have any questions, drop it down in the comments. And you guys have a good day.